She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. This must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins, turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. This could be useful. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete others to bear witness they know regala will come from you i'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end as long as you remember yours so what's the plan katalo there are only two viable ways to attack the arena through the throne room you just passed and by the trail on the north end we've set up barricades at both but if regala means to assault the cool route with machines she will have to attack by the trail you will join our defenders there Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. We'll assist Marshal Katala regarding the chief. We all have our orders. We'll see the cool route through. The cool route will start as soon as the chief is through. 
We'll assist Marshal Catalo with our action. We all have our orders. We'll see the crew move through. Start as soon as the chief gets the word. The challengers will soon enter the arena. Join Decca at the North Eric. This is a ceremony. Let Regala challenge you, Marshal. The Marshal shall stand again. Battle's There's coming. No the final battle Feeling against Regala. My heart hammered for it. Mr. Cote, this thugs, of course. She's champion. What an honor. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. <laughs> okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of this trench. And look, we are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. upon us our struggle demands new blood new leaders release the quarry challengers approach Take down a machine shall be named Marshal. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
This isn't finished! 
I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. of the Ten are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Akaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... Please, Aloy, come here. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. 
leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women. These marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Always All be right. Vigilant. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Regala will strike soon. And we'll be ready. In the name of the Ten. This will be a test. Will Regala attack today? Or is it all a ruse? You're on. Regala's on the march. Honor and strength. seized key assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. <laughs> Trained to outlast, strength. conditioned for any climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. That lowlander challenger is good fighting. That's how good of a fight it was, my friend. Hey, Lloyd. A word, if you will? <laughs>
like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Is your focus acting up again? Nah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah, usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Hey. Hey. A uh, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sun Dome. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but... Yeah. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as granted a lot. I still I and now I make it How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. I gotta go. I'm here if you need anything. Welcome back, Aloy. 
When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Alright, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear.
Eloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well... That's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However... Climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. So, 
Project Zero Dawn. The greatest minds in the world, all working to build the terraforming system while the Pharaoh Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, Kaya. See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Where have I seen this before? Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that's too bad. Back in the sleeping quarters. <laughs> Looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in.